Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this week's video I wanted to give you a little flavor of some real world Matillion action. This is a, a part of a proof of concept solution I did a few months ago for a particular client. The bit that I really want to focus on as part of this POC is how we took files in S3, iterate over them using Matillion and then basically push those into target tables and Snowflake. It sounds, um, you know, it's a pretty common task um, to do it in, in legacy non-cloud native tools. It can be get, become quite complex, unnecessarily so. Um, so I just wanted to show you a neat and elegant solution in a way that you can uh, use as potentially a pattern or a starting point for your own pieces of work for your own clients as well. So I hope you find this useful. My name is Adam Morton and I've written a couple of books on Snowflake. I've also been lucky enough to speak in front of my peers on a number of occasions. I've lived and worked in the UK, Europe and Australia during my career. And today, I'm on a mission to help as many people as I can fulfill their career potential by adding as much value as I can around data strategy and modern cloud data platforms. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through a Matillion job that takes files from S3 and loads them into Snowflake. So the first thing we're going to do is I've logged into my AWS Management Console and I'm going to go to EC2 because I need to start my EC2 instance that's running Matillion in the background. So if I click on Instances, here I've got my EC2 instance, which is currently in a stop status. If I just hit the checkbox here, go to instance state and click start instance, that will then start. It will also generate a public IPv4 address, which I need to be able to connect to Matillion. Now our Matillion instance is up and running. We've got our uh, IPv4 address. <clears throat> so we logged into Matillion. Okay, so I went to the project I want to show you today, and here's the, the first um, job that we've got, an orchestration job. Two kinds of jobs in Matillion, if you're not familiar. One is the orchestration jobs, and the other one is the transformation jobs. Orchestration is like the workflow of what tasks and transformation jobs or other orchestration jobs you want to execute and in what order, and you can set different precedents between each component. And the transformation jobs are the ones that actually apply the transformation logic. So I've got this workflow at the moment where I call this um, extract initial load fixed iterator job. If I go into here, this is all it's doing and it looks very simple and very basic, but there's actually quite a lot going on behind the scenes here. And um, you can see that I've uh, annotated what's actually happened in here. And um, again, Everything that you look at here is, the, is a, a fundamental kind of component of this workflow for proof of concept that we recently put together. Uh, it could always be enhanced further and made more enterprise class as required. Um, but for us, what we needed to do was to be able to get a fixed list of files. Uh, we knew what the files were going to be called in Amazon S3 and then literally loop for each one load them in. So let's just have a look at what this is actually doing behind the scenes. I'm just going to revalidate this job by right clicking and clicking revalidate job. Now it does give me an error here. I'm not too concerned about this at the moment because um, it's just looking for a target table which doesn't currently exist in the target environment. So if I click on this fixed iterator component, I can see that it's looking at um, some variables to iterate around. And you can see it's using this file name variable here from this lot that I've uh, set up previously. My iteration values are a list of tables um, or files that I expect to see in Amazon S3. I could always use wildcards against these as well if I had a date. Um, for this POC I knew exactly what uh, I needed to, to have. What I really like about Matillion, very simple feature, but when you're working with it, it actually is very um, makes it very productive and efficient to work with is instead of clicking each of these um, plus buttons and then adding in the text manually every time, I can just click text mode, which switches it to a actual notepad style page. And I can just copy and paste a list of table values in here, uncheck text mode, and then it just, it's already got them in all assigned to the file name. So what this fixed iteration is gonna do, it's gonna go through the file names I provided and every time it picks up one it's going to call this orchestration job so this is a run orchestration component which is extract s3 to snowflake if I open that job if I revalidate it again because it's been again a while since um, I've last ran this 
No doubt I may get one or two errors um, because I haven't set it all up yet. It's the same target table error. Um, but if I click here, I've got this S3 load and this S3 load um, component then takes a prefix. So you give it a folder prefix of where the files are gonna sit and then you can specify pattern. Notice here, I'm taking a uh, directory name um, parameter in here, a variable if you like, along with the file name, which I've already set and uh, a wildcard on the end to pick up any uh, type of file within that. So here I've got my target table. It's actually set to that variable file name, which is getting populated on the, the job, which uh, looks at S3, takes the file name, picks it up, and I'm gonna call my target table the exact same thing, because I want a one-to-one -one map in between the two of them. Obviously, if you wanted that different, you could create another variable and, uh, and base it on the file name and then do whatever you need to do to get things uh, matched up so you get your target table aligned correctly. In this case, I'm just using a straight file name, so I'm just got a one-to-one -one map in between the S3 file and the target table in Snowflake that I'm gonna load into. And so for every single file I pick up, it will execute this orchestration task, which will load the files directly from S3 into Snowflake onboard that data onto Snowflake into a landing area. You can also manage how you want to um, handle errors within this component, as well as if you want to completely um, truncate the target table um, that's in Snowflake that the data is going into. Um, finally, I call this transformation um, audit table, popular audit table job, if I just show you what that looks like. I have this fixed flow which is basically um, allows you to set up a, uh, a fixed number of columns, passing in these uh, values, these audit values, which are provided out of the box by Matillion. So I'm passing these in to this job as well, and then right into an ETL audit table, and you'll be able to see the column mapping in a moment. So I'm basically wrapped just writing out some basic metadata columns which are available, such as the component that's ran, the status of a successful error or running, for example, duration, row count, started and completed. So quite a basic um, pattern to write audit um, metadata, operational metadata to a target table. But again, it gives you that framework, gives you that pattern to further extend based upon your own requirements. So in summary then, just going back, I run this initial load fixed iterator job. This basically has a fixed iterator picking up a list of files I expect to see in S3, triggering this job, which basically just has this only single component in here which moves the, the files from S3 into a target table in Snowflake before triggering the populate audit table job. Just coming back to here again, um, in here I've got concurrency. I can run these sequentially, one by one, or I can run them concurrently based upon how many threads I have on the EC2 uh, instance I'm using. I've said to concurrent because there's no dependencies between loading these files in. I want to get all of these files in as quickly as possible from S3 into Snowflake. And so hopefully this pattern then gives you a good indication of where to start and uh, gives you that bare bones framework, uh, very efficient, looks very simple yet very powerful to do this in some tools which weren't necessarily built for the cloud and on cloud native it is it does get quite complex um, and time consuming to do that but i've pointed out some of the uh, features in this unfortunately i can't run it because i don't have access to all of the target environments at this stage um, but yeah hopefully you find that useful and that might help you in some of your jobs that you have to do if you find this video useful please keep watching keep subscribing new videos coming soon are you looking to grow your skills this new year and looking to fulfill your career potential? Maybe you've been frustrated by being stuck in a dead-end job in your company or your employer hasn't necessarily invested in you and you're stuck working with on-premise systems. Well, this is exactly why I designed this course, this program, Master in Snowflake. Um, my members join me and have typically got, got 10 to 15 years experience in IT and data specifically. They've often got a lot of skills and experience that they've poured time and effort into over the years and they want to be able to leverage that to the best degree. So they come to me 
they're often quite confused about where to start. There's so many overlapping um, technologies out there. There's so many different buzzwords. And I want to really help um, you and these people cut through all of that marketing hype and really get a good understanding of how to design and deploy solutions for the cloud. I choose Snowflake because I find it really um, empowering to work with. It's really easy to get up and running. Um, it's got a lot of good features and concepts as well. If you come in from an on-premise environment, it will be really uh, game-changing to you in terms of your day-to-day -day role. So I'm basically packaged up everything I've learned using Snowflake since 2017 across a range of implementations. Um, I've now got a number of recipes, if you like, that allow you to take the out-of-the-box capabilities of Snowflake, package them up to address real-world business challenges. This will save you time and effort, all of the kind of mistakes and everything that I had to make initially to get to this point, you will be able to kind of fast-track yourself to that. So as part of the program itself, I provide all of the uh, hands-on demos the code I use, the code templates, and the patterns I use with my enterprise scale clients. You also get access to a exclusive members only group to get expert advice and share knowledge, not only around Snowflake, um, although we do have a number of um, obviously discussion points around Snowflake itself, and that could also include certification or interview guidance and advice, but we also include, include any tools and technologies around the modern data platform space whether that be DBT, Matillion, Fivetran, Stitch, Alation, Atlan, Power BI, Tableau, you name it. You know, we, we've all got um, different experiences we can bring to the table. I also conduct live 60-minute group coaching calls, which are completely optional. And um, people from around the, the world turn up to those and ask me any questions, whether that be around technology, whether that be around data strategy um, or architecture advice and guidance. Your investment in yourself in terms of getting into this program will continue to pay um, dividends to you because obviously Snowflake is, is changing every single month and all of those updates are fed back into the program periodically over time. So it's all being designed by myself from the ground up. It's very practical, it's very hands-on, um, provide in-depth background, not just around the theory but with real-world case studies and in practical hands-on activities within each module. So if you're interested, this is what it looks like in terms of the course breakdown and the structure. Um, you can apply at the moment. We've opened the, the membership up for new applications. There's a link in the video description below. Please hit that link, um, apply to join. I'd love to have you as part of the program. The key thing for me is making sure you're the right fit and you're going to get the most amount of value from it. Thanks so much for listening. All the best on your Snowflake journey.